Right, the last technique for uh, spline modelling we're going to look at is um, extruding shapes. This does have its limitations, but um, it's also very useful occasionally, so it's a worthwhile thing to know. So the first thing we're going to do is in our splines tab, we're just going to make a rectangle. It's quite long like that. I'll just turn off the grid with G to make it a bit easier to see. Um, and then we're going to put an edit spline modifier on top of that. That gives us our vertex options and like segment options. Um, then what we're going to do, just to demonstrate how the extrude modifier works, is just extrude that shape up. Starts off on zero meters, so just extrude it out a bit, so you actually get a shape out of it. And you see, it's basically just made us a box. You could now, if you wanted, put an edit poly modifier on top of that and start modeling it in the usual way. But we'll bin that for now. And we'll come back down to our spline settings and go into vertex mode. Now, what we're going to do is, sorry, we'll actually just come straight out of that object. Now, what we're going to do with this is just kind of cut holes into this nice kind of quick easy way so I'll just make some circles in here like so we'll come back to our extruded shape now we'll go back down to spline and we're just going to click on attach and attach these circles. Right, uh, turn off attach. You can right-click to do that as well. Come back up to extrude, and you'll see we've got a nice shape there with not really much time to model it in. So it's very useful for this kind of thing. Um, but it does have its limitations and uh, I'll just demonstrate those now if we just bin the extrude for a second just so you can look at this you can see let's just select all the splines move them to there and turn off the grid go into spline mode you can see if I select this top spline it's on exactly the same Y point as all the other splines. Now that's very important because if it isn't, and I put the extrude modifier on this object now, you'll see the shape comes up all distorted and doesn't model correctly. So you need to make sure that everything is on exactly the same y-axis point. You can just use your line tool for this obviously, but let's do it like that. Now if I put my extrude modifier back on, you'll see the shapes return to a reasonable model. Other things you can't really do, if you wanted to have a kind of curved surface on it, let's just pull that curve out a bit, pull that point down. See again that comes up a bit distorted. You can make this work. by matching the points as best you can of the other shape. You can see it's still a bit distorted. So it only really works on kind of flat flat objects. 